talk on a very exciting part of pregnancy today that is the first appearance of the fetal cardiac pulsation that is the first visualization of the beating heart of the baby inside the uterus did you know that just after 22 days of conception the fetal heart already starts beating so once the baby is 5 weeks mostly the fetal heart has already start beating and we can see it through a transvaginal sonography however the appearance of fetal cardiac pulsation becomes more evident after 6 to 7 weeks when we can see it even on an abdominal sonography the fetal cardiac pulsation once it starts at 6 weeks continues throughout the pregnancy and throughout the life of the baby also so the fetal heart starts beating at a fixed rate initially the heart rate is around 120 to 90 beats a minute gradually it increases and the maximum reaches at around 8 to 9 weeks that is at 140 to 170 beats a minute thereafter it gradually decreases and by the end of the third month it stabilizes to around 110 to 140 beats per minute this heart rate also varies depending on the condition of the baby so if the baby is moving the heart rate would increase just like when we move or exercise our heart rate increases similarly if the baby is sleeping the heart rate would decline a little a little bit of variation thus is physiological however if it goes beyond the range that is less than 100 or more than 160 then it has to be investigated further what is the significance of this heartbeat so once we see a heartbeat we know that now this baby is a living thing it has a beating heart and so we are assured that it will continue however once we see the heartbeat at 6 weeks there is only 70% chance of it to continue further so in spite of having a heartbeat not all pregnancies will continue nature selects the best for its propagation and so if there is any fault in the baby's genetic makeup nature will not allow it to grow and it might ultimately lead to a missed abortion how do we monitor this heartbeat so first we can see it through a transvaginal sonography we can also see it through an abdominal sonography that is done over the abdomen and thirdly once the baby is big enough that is beyond 20 weeks we can monitor it through a doppler also you can measure it and hear it with a stethoscope also so this is how we keep on monitoring the heart rate of the baby and this gives us a lot of reassurance about the well being of the baby thank you